here I am walking down Lam Biang Mountain. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I'm really bad with pronunciations. But unfortunately, they've got a like a toll gate at the bottom where you can't you can't go past with your bicycle. You got to hire a, one of their jeeps. So it's like a bit of a tourist trap. But beautiful mountain. As you can see, I'm still in the clouds. So instead of taking the jeep back down, I asked if I could just walk down because um, it's just you know you're only up here for like 40 minutes and they take you back down again. To me, it's not enough. So. He said, yeah, it's fine. So I'm walking down the road and that way I got more time to take some snapshots and, you know, absorb the nature. And it's beautiful. It's all downhill. It would have been awesome though if I took my bike up here. It would have been great. But uh, unfortunately, you cannot. So yeah, so up, up the top there, it's like, um, you can't see anything. It's meant to be awesome views of Dalat. But uh, because it's so cloudy right now, you can't see anything. It's just a big white wall. <clears throat> but there's lots of little, uh, little gimmicky things that I think Vietnamese people must like. Like just tacky statues or dressing up as as um he'll try people but like in a tacky way so well it keeps them happy anyway they love it so but to me it's just it's yeah it's tacky so but uh yeah each their own but um i'm pretty much just as much of an attraction as everything else as soon as i'm up there they're just uh, there's people coming up to me all the time so like that to me or doing the, the hand over their head like you're so tall or or even they'll come up and want to take photos with me like I'm one of the attractions <laughs> like, like the uh, couple came up and um, the man he, he comes and hugs me and I have to put my arm around him and he, they, the girlfriend takes a photo and then the girlfriend comes and hugs me and she puts her hands right on me and everything and I'm hugging with her <laughs> it's just bizarre <laughs> it's bizarre I gotta start charging them I think uh, you know five bucks a, a photo I've got to pay for my whole trip <laughs> for the amount of people that want to take photos with me and um, yeah see so, I don't really think I'm that particular at all, but I don't know, I just everywhere I go I just get noticed. Even on my bicycle, everyone stops and stares and points at me. I feel a I feel a bit like a like a freak, you know. <laughs> you know? Like I'm I think I'm about 200 centimeters, like two meters tall, which is it's tall but it's not freakishly tall I don't think, but obviously to uh, Asian people it is. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm just walking back down. I've just been uh, laid in bed for the last two and a half days from food poisoning again. It sucked ass. I'm still weak as shit. Like uh, I can't eat anything. I tried to eat I ate hardly anything yesterday, and then when I did eat something, um, this felt crook as. And back in the bed I went. This morning I actually felt better. I felt like um, very energetic, <clears throat> but it turned out to be like a bit of a false energy. Um, I had I had breakfast. So I thought I had a lot because I thought I was really hungry, but I thought um, I'd, I'd recovered. But um, as I was riding here, because there was a few climbs coming here before the mountain, oh, this felt like shit. Um, excuse the language. So yeah, I just want to see this beautiful spot here. So yeah, so I'm not fully recovered yet, which sucks. But it happened the first night I got here. I think I got it from a dodgy vegetarian restaurant. Um, they had all the food out in the in the Bay Marie's and it was sort of semi cold and even just thinking about it now makes me want to vomit um, but yeah I got it pretty bad I had just weak really really weak couldn't do anything just sat in bed all day for two days I wasn't vomiting I haven't vomited yet but um oh I had diarrhea really it's just weakness and aching in the kidneys like my kidneys are really must be filtering my blood to uh, get the poison out and I'm still knocked around by it now so it just sucks ass it's, it appears that I thought I would have thought that being a vegan would have um, saved me or, or given me a, more of a protection than the average person because I wouldn't eat meat and all that sort of things but it turns out I think it's after I think about it a bit it actually puts me at more of a risk because a lot of the food I eat is is fresh and raw like veggies and fruit so and it's you know hasn't been cooked or hasn't got the all the bugs cooked out of them so yeah I'm realizing that I'm probably actually at more risk more of a risk than uh, the average person so what can you do live and learn I suppose I just got to be really really careful because I'm glad I'm actually I'm waiting still waiting for the parts from Phil Wood so I think there'll be another three days or so so it actually turned out uh, you know it was okay because I'm not really losing time but if this was if I was like in the middle of a run somewhere in the ride sorry and um, this happened I would have been laid up probably I'm still not riding now probably I still couldn't ride for another another day so they're taking about four days recovery that would have pissed me off 
Um, excuse the language again, sorry, I'm swearing. I'm still a bit sick. So, yeah, so that's not good. Um, but I'm getting better. Like, I'm a lot more perky now. It's just um, just the lingering effects of that weakness. And um, just my stomach is not right. I can't hold any food down. I still I can't eat much at all, really. So, anyway, it's part of traveling. It's all good. It's still Dallas, it's still beautiful. It's a good place to be um, stuck, I suppose. Look at it. Just, you know, nature at its best. Um, yeah, see you soon. There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the climb That dream I'm dreaming But there's a voice inside my head Saying you'll never reach it Every step I'm taking Every move I make feels lost with no direction My faith is shaking I gotta keep trying Gotta keep